Okay. Um, this is Jan sorry, February 3rd, um, day 7. Hello, Carla. How was your day? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you, Luis? Mm, fine, evening. teacher. I am okay. Good, good. And the rest? George, Tatiana, Carla, how are you? I am a good teacher. I'm fine, teacher. Are you? Hi, good. pretty good. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Great. Well, today we're going to be continuing our ideas. Um, and yesterday was the idea of making requests, if we remember, or asking for... Uh, for with models, um, think about like asking for favors more than anything, right? So when you, a request sounds very formal, but really it's just asking for a favor. Hey, Carla, can I borrow your, uh, your pencil? Luis, can I, uh, can I use your cell phone? Or George, can, uh, could you watch my food while I go to the bathroom? This, you know, normal everyday requests. Sometimes they're small, Usually when they're small, we use the words like can or could or do you mind? And then when they get a little bit bigger or maybe somebody that we don't have so much trust in or confidence with, right? Or trust in, then we use the words like do you mind? Would it be okay? Uh, would you mind? And then finally, probably for big situations or very high things, that's when we use in the words like I wonder if. I was wondering if things like that okay so yesterday we began we're gonna watch the video um it's a little that way we're we're clear what we're talking about and then if there are any questions you let me know hi everyone by the end of this class you'll learn how to ask for favors using models if clauses and gerunds can you hear the video yes yes okay making sure the main goal is to learn how to make requests in different forms. So we all make requests to our friends, family members, as well as our manager at work. And the way that we make this request tends to change depending on how we're addressing the person and who we're addressing, right? And the level of confidence that you have with the person. So for example, if you're asking a very close friend to lend you $5, Usually you'll make the request by simply saying, can I borrow $5? I'll pay you back tomorrow. However, if you're asking your manager to give you an extra day off, you'll typically ask by saying, I wonder if I could take an extra day off. And the reason is simple. It's because it's not what you say, but how you say it. It's more likely that if you ask in a very polite manner, you'll get what you want in certain cases of course so that's what we're going to learn today so let me introduce uh, some structure this topic by the way it's quite simple uh, what we want to do is we want to use uh, models we want to use if clauses and gerunds so just uh, uh, let me point out what those are uh, just a quick reminder you're probably familiar with this already uh, but what are uh, so what are models those are models are uh, those model verbs that you see there can uh, could and also would right uh, and um, if clauses well those those are simply uh, whenever you see do you mind if right whenever you see this word that's what we refer to uh, an if clause um, and then uh, the last thing that uh, we want to learn there is how to use gerunds to make this kind of request. Uh, and so that's that example that you see there. Would you mind 
letting me use your laptop. Okay. And what we mean by this is that we're going to use a gerund, right? So would you mind? After would you mind, um, we're going to have to use a gerund. And I'm going to quickly point that out here in a second. So let me just quickly point out the examples that we see here. So as you can see, we on the left, we see that if I use the expression, can I borrow your pencil? That is something that I will typically ask a friend, someone that I'm very close to, right? So it's uh, uh, an informal way. It's not rude, by the way. It's, it's simply uh, the other ways to ask are just a bit more polite. Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Is it okay if I use your phone? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrow your digital camera? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? I wonder if I could borrow some money. Um, and finally, um, I was wondering if you mind lending me your car. So again, um, these are just different ways that you can ask for things. Uh, and what we want to learn today is how to use all of these different ways, how to use um, models, if clauses, and gerunds to um, make requests, right? So what I will do is I will give you a situation. And so uh, for today's class, the situation is that you want to borrow $20 from a friend. Okay, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to, uh, make the request uh, using all of the different forms that you see there, right? Uh, it's not to say that you're going to use that with a friend. Usually with the friend, someone that's kind of close to you or very close to you, it, it all depends, you will typically just say, hey, can I borrow $20 from you, right? Um, but uh, as I mentioned uh, previously, if you are asking your boss for an extra day off, uh, usually you'll try to find a more polite way to ask um, for um, that um, so let's let's do the example how, how are we going to do this so well uh, what's the um, less formal way of doing it well you can say can I borrow twenty dollars that's quite simple right um, the other way could be could you lend me twenty dollars right so I'm just notice that I'm using um, the model verse that uh, the words that are in gray that are grayed out that's what I'm using. Um, another way could be, is it okay if I borrow $20? All right. And uh, what could be another way? Well, we can say, do you mind if I borrow $20? Okay. Would it be okay if I borrow $20? Um, and in this case, I quickly want to point out, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but um, in this case, what we did is we changed the verb to the past, as you, can, as you can see there. And the reason um, is quite simple. Simply, um, whenever we make this kind of request, remember that what we're trying to do is we're trying to sound more polite. So. Uh, by us changing the verb to the past, this makes that request even more polite, right? Now, this doesn't mean that you cannot make the request without changing that verb to the past. You can do that if you want. So you could say, would it be okay if I borrow $20? You don't necessarily need to change that to the past. However, um, we're learning that um, we're going to change it to the past in order to sound more polite, right? What will be another way to say this? Well, we can say, um, would you mind if I borrow $20? That's another way of, of saying it. Um, and I want you to pay special attention to the next expression, would you mind lending me $20? So in this case, whenever you see would you mind, the expression would you mind, without the if, right? Whenever you see the expression would you mind, this is always going to follow a gerund. So it's always going to follow a gerund. Would you mind lending me $20? The example that we see uh, in this little chart is, would you mind letting me use your laptop, as you can see. So we had to change the verb let to um, a gerund. 
uh, and let me just point out the other two examples there. So those would be, I wonder if I could borrow $20. And I was wondering if you mind lending me $20. Okay, and as you can see, I also um, highlighted this in red because um, after we see the word mine or the birth mine, then this is going to follow uh, a gerund. What I would like for you to do is to make requests with the models, the if clauses, and the gerunds. Uh, so let's say, for example, I, I gave you uh, these are all situations. Let me just point out that these are situations. Okay. Uh, could you lend me some money for a soda? Is it okay if you lend me some money for a soda? Right. This is the situation, and what I would like for you to do is to use. Okay, so we got the idea, right? We're going to be practicing making those requests with our partners. I'm going to go ahead in case you don't have it. This is a um, in case you're on your cell phone. This is 3.3 if you're on the computer. But what we're going to do is we're going to practice making those requests and other requests with our partners. Okay, so we're going to imagine different situations. One, you're asking a friend. Um, another, you're asking your boss and so on. So it, the situation is you need money for a soda. Ah, a soda is it's not a big deal, right? So you you say probably to someone, can I borrow fifty cents or you know, can I borrow a dollar, something like that, for a soda, or maybe you say Eduardo, uh, can you pay uh, this time and I pay next time, for example, for the soda, right? Because it's not a big deal. But as you can see, they keep going, getting a little bit, you know. Um, maybe a little bit different can, you know, asking somebody to return books for you or asking somebody to, you know, to borrow uh, or to give you their homework. It's essentially kind of like, you know, hey, did you do the report? Can you tell me what's going on or something like that? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to practice different situations. Um, like I said, we have so those that are in the chart, uh, sorry, in the chat. And then also, and we're going to go on to 3.4 which is using them in the platform, okay? So two things. One, we're gonna practice speaking, and two, we're gonna practice completing them in the platform, okay? Any questions? No. No? Okay, Let, let's try one example to make sure that it's clear. Let's try one example, okay? So imagine, um, you know, I, I, I want to uh, uh, I want to use your phone, okay? How would you how would you make the request if you want to use someone's phone? Okay, nobody is so it's not clear. Well, do you do you mind if I use your cell phone? Correct. That's right, Luis. Do you mind if I use your cell phone? That's great. That's one option. Yeah. Also, uh, you know, maybe if it's a friend, very easy. Hey, can I use your cell phone? Or, uh, you know, but maybe if it's a stranger, um, if, if you're talking to a stranger in the street, you're probably going to have to think about a little bit more formal, right? What happens if it's a stranger in the street? Well, then it is, excuse me, I was wondering if I could use your cell phone. I have an emergency maybe or, or something like this. So each way that you ask depends on who you're asking. Okay. Yes, can you borrow your cell phone? No, can you lend your cell phone? Can I borrow your phone? Is just lend or lend me? Well, can it can be? Can you lend me this? Your can you lend me your cell phone or uh, can I borrow your cell phone? So, can you lend me your cell phone or can I borrow your cell phone? Would be the two correct ones. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Okay, so one more time. We're gonna practice those situations. We're gonna practice asking different people and then we're gonna do the next part, which is completing them and using them in uh, 3.4. Eduardo, you said you guys are okay? We have to use the image, the teacher sent us for in WhatsApp. Correct, Carla. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And number Excuse one, me. don't worry. And uh, number one is lend me some money for the soda. So, um, can you lend me some money for a soda? It's correct, teacher. I don't it know. It is correct. Okay. Um, okay, number two. Uh, the door is this book to literally for me. Can I borrow? Yeah. Um, your your bathroom for the day. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yes, yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. so, yeah. Or or use only thing. Uh, the other the other part is when you use lend me. Could you let me shoes? Your shoes. Your shoes. Uh -huh. Your shoes. Okay. Teacher, it's okay. I understand that. Um, I use borrow when I want that you give me one or give me something. All right. And I use let me when um, you give me one, your property. It's All good. Right. Yes. Uh, when I, I remember that one example, when you say, I need that the bank let me $100. Yes. All right. The other form is, um, teacher, can you borrow one dollar? No. No. Can you lend one dollar? Can I borrow one dollar? I borrow one dollar. Okay. Um. Okay. I have a little confused. <laughs> is this is the is because when you use you you put lend when you use I okay. you put borrow. Is I borrow and it's you lend. Okay, it's clean. Okay. <laughs> Better. <laughs> uh -huh. It's easier to remember like that. It's, it's it I, is. I borrow and you lend. Okay. Okay, it's clean. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, can I say uh, I can Le 
Sorry, I don't remember. Len. Len is when when you give. Could you lend me a uh, pants? Um, I, I'm not sure, but, I, but the question is, I can say, uh, can I lend you, uh, can I lend you money, for example? No. No. Correct, can grammatically, I... Jose, but it doesn't, it's not logical. Yeah. Yeah. No, but the, the idea is, if, if, for example, and I have a, 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 a um, uh, one person when I, I I want to help, right? For example, uh, give money. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how uh, how to make this that this idea. I I I want to help any person. And how I construction that 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 that. You offer the money to our person. Yeah, yeah, just like, like like that. You offer the money. That is correct, Jose. That's when you use it to offer money to the other person. Oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I know, but ah, look, it's huh? okay. Uh, I wrote. Do so, not write to wall or request only the complete. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I understand you. Is it okay? Uh, is that in the platform? So we uh, write the answer to complete. Is it okay? Uh huh. So it, is it okay if wrote in the platform? So we. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna look at uh, the, the example. Is it okay if I use your phone? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. If if so. I use the, the, if I don't know want to use <laughs> this, I use <laughs> his computer. Her computer. It's lost teacher. Oh, oh, I I tried. I uh, yes. I got the answer. Only write if I use your computer in the first. Correct. You don't put the is it okay because you only uh -huh. compliment. Yes, uh, Luis. Hola. Only yeah. write if I use your computer. Only that if I use your computer. Uh, I use. Uh -huh. I if I use. Uh -huh. Is it I use? No, no, but uh -huh, delay that. It, is it delayed? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if I use. Is it? No, no. Uh, if. Okay, if. I. I uh -huh. Use okay. your computer. Mm -hmm. Your roommate. No. No, your computer. Your computer. Computer, computer. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> if Only I that. use your computer. Only that. Uh, right? Okay, let me check. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's okay. Complete. It's only complete oh the, the, the sentence. Only, ah, uh, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you're told about that situation, right? The, the, don't write the word requires only the completion completion of it. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. Do you like for the neighbor to give you a right to work? Would if, you mind? Would you mind is 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 right and the sentence and only if I give you a right to know. Uh, uh, would you mind if? Uh, Maybe. Uh, would you mind? What is it? Would you mind? Would you mind if 
I borrow. No, it's a, it's a borrow. Um, okay, mm, well, do my, well, do mine. Okay, well, do mine. Mm. How do you say to the to your neighbor <laughs> to give you to the work? Mm. Well, do my write me, <laughs> write uh, me to my work. <laughs> oh, given. Uh, yeah. Do you remember? Uh, you can use a year gerund in this situation. Will you my given? Given you a right? Mm. Uh -huh. Maybe given. You right. Mm -hmm, le estás diciendo, I no, I de de yo, de yo. <laughs> if, if I, I, if I, I, if mm -hmm. if, if I use, quitarle el to, porque no va. Y sería, um, no sé, your computer. Your control. Your control. Mm, no, hola. Sería your computer. Porque tú, te, tú le estás preguntando. O sea, lo que dice es, tú necesitas usar la computadora de tu, de tu compañero, de tu roommate. Entonces tú le vas a preguntar a él. Entonces, it's okay if I use. Entonces el tú no va. Uh -huh. Your computer. Uh -huh. if, if I use your computer. Uh -huh. Y ahí el signo de pregunta. Ok, number two. Would you mind? Ya habíamos hablado del would you mind. Sería. And number two, I I write giving me a right to work. Mm, no, porque sería would you mind giving? Giving. Yes, no, giving. Pero, no, pero solo copia, porque si no te va a salir malo, solo, solo copia después del mind. Uh -huh. No lo pongas Giving todo completo. Giving me a right to work. Just that. The instructions say, do not cry, work, repeat. Only the completation. Completation. Mm, okay, okay. Uh -huh. So, if he say, would you like, we need only cry, give me, a right to work, I think so. Hello, teacher. It's okay. What do you think, teacher? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. In this case, here is good you. Good you. Mm -hmm. It is good you. You want a friend to help you move on Saturday. And I think that good you help me or to you help me mm -hmm. help. Help me. Uh, would you help me? Would you help me move, move on Saturday?
He say, um, you would you would like your aunt to give the you second piece of pie. I was wondering if you might if you might is Um, what did you, you mean? The mean is that you're in Spanish. <laughs> Would you like your aunt give you, give you one, uh, the Yeah, no conflict. <laughs> the situations yeah. are uh, lend me some money for a soda. How do ah. we uh, uh, talk to that? Lend me some money. Ah, okay. Lend me some okay. money for the, a soda. The situation uh, translate the another polite or It's like or uh, in the example of the class. Okay. The class. Okay. Mm, could you lend me some money for a soda, for example? Could you, uh -huh. could you lend me, mm -hmm. could you lend me some money for a soda? For a soda. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. My mom told that. Another borrow. No, mm. no, because the, 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 the exercise gives uh, the bird. Yes, I are uh, example for borrow. Let me borrow your mat on. Mm. Let me borrow your mat on. Mm. It's like a prestame, like, uh, right? Yeah. Mat on. Mm -hmm. It's like. Can you uh, lend me? Uh, can you lend me your math homework? A cold yeah. lend me. No. Because borrow don't use in that expression, right? Can you lend me? Uh -huh. Can you lend me your math homework? Yeah. Uh, the same in the second. Read to these books to the library for me. Call you return or can? Can you mm -hmm. return? Can. 
It depends, depends to the the person to we are talking. Yes. And number two. Yeah. Yes. Number two. Okay. Okay. Good you ma if what, what happened to number three? Mm -hmm. Uh we're talking to three is like a code to lend me your mat homework. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, then the another one is do you mind? Do you mind if or oh, no? Yes. And the third if let me huh? Number three. With cold to mind, can you mind lend me the same? Lend me your math homework. ¿Te importaría mm -hmm. si prestarme tu tarea de matemáticas? Ah, ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, good. Uh, the same in the, the second. Number... Could you mind uh, return these books? It's called with. Okay. I see we still have a little bit of confusion between borrow and lend. So, okay. So it's going to be, okay. Put in the chat. So when you use the expression or when you use another person, that's going to be you. Okay. Can you lend me? Can you lend? Can I borrow? Okay, so it and it's the same for the others. Is uh, can could may I? Uh, would it be okay? Um, do you mind if all of those are the same way you're going to use it? It's going to be I borrow and you lend. Okay, so is if I borrow I receive. If you lend you give. In the two is the same information. In the two, you are not the owner. The other person is the owner of the property. It's not that in one is my property and the other is the other. No, in two, the other person is the property. They, they are the owner. The difference is who is doing the action. They are giving or I am receiving, okay? That's the only difference because I saw some of them. now. For some of your exercises, I have a, you have to make sure that you, you read carefully. It's only writing the answer. You do not copy the entire information. It's only the answers. Some of you at the beginning had some wrong because of this, because you copy uh, the entire part. And it's not all. It's only put the answer, only put the complement. Okay? So the main idea is I, what am I going to use when I use I? Borrow. borrow. Correct. I borrow. And what are we going I to borrow? Do? You say you? You lend. lend. You lend. Exactly. You lend. That's right. Okay. So it doesn't matter if it's can, if it's could, if it's may I, would it be okay? Would you mind? Always is the same. I borrow. You lend. You lend. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that way you don't confuse yourself. Okay. Uh -huh. Because if not, you if you are thinking, oh, what is this? No, no, no. Just put the two. It's better you think they are a pair. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, let's talk what about happened? what kind of favors do your friends ask you? What kind of things um, do the people ask you at work or do your friends or different places? What do they say? Sorry, teacher. I said, what kind of favors do people, Sorry. What kind of favors yeah. do people ask you? Do they ask you for money? Do they ask you for your Netflix password? Do they ask you to borrow money? Do they ask to use your, 
your car? What what do people ask you for? Open the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Open the door. How do they ask you, Luis? What do they say? Oh, <laughs> Could you please open the door? Oh, they're very nice. They don't say, "Hey, hey Chelito, <laughs> open the door." No, they no, they they just say, no, hey. "Could, could uh, you?" <laughs> no, could you please open the door? Okay, very good. Oh, That's maybe, one way. Uh, uh, what but else? Maybe in this in this case, borrow a lend. Mm, I don't know. Is I can use lend or or borrow to open the door? No, because. Only yeah. borrow and lend is only when you have exchange of things. A high example, interchange on. Like like uh, the bank money or uh -huh. a, the cell phone or a pencil or, you know, it's only mm -hmm. only when you exchange something. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And remember yes. the idea the idea of borrow and lend is you return. No no is mine. No is a present. Is I use and then I return. Mm -hmm. okay well now that Luis okay. that fa that favor we're going to watch a small video with other favors okay and we're gonna okay. see what are the different favors this is from 3.6 3.6 okay. favors Okay, maybe it's not working at the moment. <laughs> yeah, there, there is Any a this problem. Class will develop skills in listening for specific information. After listening to the audio program, you will complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three requests. Your task is to write down what each caller requests and identify whether the person agrees or disagrees to the request. Okay, so what are we going to do? Mm. Let's listen again to the instructions. I don't understand. By the end of this class, you will develop skills in listening for specific information. After listening to the audio program, you will complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three requests. Your task is to write down what each caller requests and identify whether the person agrees or disagrees to the request. Okay, so let's try again. What are we going to do? Listen to the identify the situation three situation where is agree or disagree excellent Leo. excellent that's right you're going to listen to three conversations and in the three conversations identify what is the request and identify if they accept or don't accept to do the request okay so for example i say leah can i borrow or leah can i borrow one thousand dollars no, I don't agree. Oh, I don't have money. I don't know. <laughs> and that's it. I don't have money for nothing. There for you anything. go. <laughs> and that's all. Is you listen, what is the request, and if she accepts or doesn't accept. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. <laughs> my bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. 
I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. <sighs> Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know. Polly. My bird? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy, and they make a lot of noise, and... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. Okay. So, we heard the three, right? So, whoops, sorry. Okay. Was that okay or one more time? It's okay. Okay, for Leah it's okay and for it's the okay. others, it's okay? It's okay. Yes. Okay, let's try. What yeah, is it's, the, it's okay. Teacher. In the first conversation, conversation one, what is the request and they accept or don't accept? She accept, uh, borrow the camera. Okay. Yes, she accept. Yes, right? So the request is, can I borrow your camera? Right? Mm -hmm. She wants to take pictures for her family. And he accepts. He says, yes, you can juice. Very good. What about in number two? What was the request? Borrow the bread maker. Correct. Borrow the bread maker. And what happens with the bread maker? They accept or don't accept? Don't accept. Don't accept. Don't accept. Don't accept, accept, but. No, that's not right. Don't accept. Yes, accept, but the oh. it's broken. She's... Okay. No, she's, she's saying an excuse. No, it's broken. Excuse. No, this the first you say are uh, I don't know. Uh -huh, very como duda. How do you say duda? Duditativa. <laughs> <laughs> Doubtful. <laughs> Doubtful. And the and the after say, I have bad news. It's broken. Right. Mm -hmm. It's like that way. It sounds good, right? It's like yes, yes, but I don't have <laughs> or but it's broken, but. That way the person, oh, they feel bad, and, okay? So, mm -hmm. so yeah, he accepts, she accepts, no? She accepts to- How do you to... say the Malagana, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So she accepts unwillingly, unwillingly. Willingly. Right? Yeah, no, no. Like but, willingly. That's right. Um, she accepts, but it's not um, possible. Yeah. It's not possible to do because <laughs> it's broken. According to her, he broke and pay me the bread maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, uh, and, it, and you know, it's, it's funny because in El Salvador, I don't see the bread makers, and it's very common. Uh, and we eat a lot of bread in El Salvador, a lot of bread, but the people don't use bread makers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What about number three, conversation three? Don't accept. Don't in that, in that accept. case, Yes, I said the finally, big, but ah, finally, uh, yes. willingly, please, finally, please, please, willingly. Please. Okay, bring, uh, bring me your, your bear. Okay. Mm -hmm. your they, they, they. So uh -huh. at first, in the first time, yeah. no, and then the man is speaking. Oh uh -huh. no, my bird is not really special. She say. Yes. Yeah, she say that the bird is a good bird, no pee, no nothing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and the and the and the she say, uh, I don't like the birds. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, I don't. 
the bird. I don't like she yes. Says, she says, I don't like birds. They're yes, noisy. They're but dirty. finally, it's okay. Uh-huh, it's okay. It's okay. okay. De mala gana. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh-huh. accept. But accept. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Great. So we have several different words. Well, we are, I am going to show you the next topic. The next topic that we are talking about are, maybe you have heard of them before. They're called indirect requests. Okay, this is indirect. Now, why is it indirect? It's because you do not ask the person, you do not ask who you're talking to. Okay. So, as an example, I want to ask, uh, I want to ask Jocelyn, okay? But I don't ask Jocelyn directly. I ask George. And I say, George, can you, could you? And then the same request, okay? So, as an example here, if we look on the screen, we have, imagine I say, George, could you tell Jocelyn that uh, that Luis is having a party? Ah, this is very complicated because it goes from one person to another about another. But the idea is that, that is you are not talking to the person, okay? You are talking with the idea about whatever the other person needs, okay? The same for the okay. next one. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, Daniel, can you... Can you tell uh, can you tell Leah not to be late? Okay. This is the idea of indirect. Is I do not ask Luis. Okay. I do not ask Eduardo. I ask Eduardo to ask Jose. I ask Guillermo to ask Tatiana. Okay. It's the same request. I need a favor. I need money. I need the, the uh, cell phone. Okay. I need the bread maker. But I don't ask Luis. This is very common when you are friends with someone, but not, not so friends with the husband or with the wife or with the girlfriend or the boyfriend. This is the very common, very common in El Salvador, right? Hey, Eduardo, can you ask your, can you ask your girlfriend, can you ask your wife if she, if she has a friend and so-and-so, right? Or Luis. Can you ask your wife if uh, she knows how to make pupusas, right? This is the normal, the indirect for the usage. This is the common way that we use it. Is that normally is because we have a relationship with one person, but maybe not so close the relationship with the other person. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes. Right. So. I think, yeah, okay. we, we have enough time. We can, we are going to practice it tomorrow, but today we have time to watch the video of the explanation to make sure that mm, you understand my explanation. Okay. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll learn how to make indirect requests. We will focus on turning statements into indirect requests. Now let's discuss what indirect requests are. So indirect requests means that you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Let's say for example you call a person and the person is not there um, and you leave a message for that person. Well. This is what we call an indirect request. So let me present some structure. If you see the chart on the screen, we can see how this structure changes depending on the type of sentence. So if we have statements, imperatives, yes and no questions, and WH questions, those will be different whenever we change them to indirect requests. Uh, now I'll be discussing this individually. Uh, and then um, we're going to try to make sense of all of them together. The idea is to be able to make uh, to, to take any kind of um, sentence and then change that to a form of indirect request. So in this particular lesson, we're going to focus with the first one, with statements. 
So as we can see, um, statements are quite easy to change, right? We have a statement there, Jeff, Tony's having a party. So that statement, we change it to an end in the REC request. You call um, maybe uh, maybe Jeff, uh, Jeff the assistant, uh, and uh, you want to give a message to him because he was not available. And then you, you, um, you tell um, the assistant, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? All right, so it's quite easy, right? We just kind of like introduce, could you tell? And here we're going to introduce uh, the person who uh, that message is for. So remember that what you're doing is you're leaving a message with Jeff's assistant. Uh, and then Jeff's assistant will, do, will then give that message to him. So it's quite simple, right? So what we want to do is uh, we want to um, uh, leave um, quite a few messages for Jeff. Uh, and then we want to practice changing those statements into indirect requests. In this case, we're going to practice uh, changing those uh, statements to indirect requests introduced by uh, that. So the first one that we can see there is, okay, Jeff, uh, Tony is having a party. That's the message. Uh, so how would I give the message to the receptionist or to his assistant? Um, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? By the way, the reason you see that in parentheses is because that is optional. That means that you can either say, could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Or you could just include it. You could say, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? So let's write a couple of other. Um, uh... OK. So as you can see, there's just different forms, but it's the same idea. In all of them, where we have the situations, for example, um, Tony is going to invite everyone from work. OK. So Jeff is not here. So could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to invite everyone from work? If you look at it, it's really a sentence, a sentence, copy the sentence, but at the beginning, we use the question. Could you, can you, uh, these are, can you ask, could you tell? These are normally how we put at the beginning, okay? But the structure at the end is like a sentence. That's the idea for the structure at the end. Now, this is just the introduction for today because we have some time we need to analyze and make sure okay now it's important that remember you work in the platform this week well tomorrow we finish we finish lesson three that means that on friday saturday or sunday you already have the first exam and the exam is one two and three Okay, so remember, work in the platform tomorrow, Thursday, tomorrow, Thursday, we finish the unit, unit three, and that way over the weekend, you can do. So if you haven't completed number one or number two, it's better to do now because you have a lot of activities later. Okay. All right. Thank you okay, for coming you. and tomorrow we continue with the topic and that way you have an idea of what we're going to see. Okay. Okay, Thank good you. night. Okay, see teacher, you. good night. See you, see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.